is one of the most recognized faces in local politics, spending his childhood in the 51st Congressional District that he's now representing for almost a decade. Juan Vargas says there are a lot of things that have changed in San Diego since he was a kid. That includes the always growing number of Latinos in political office. I sat down with him during this Hispanic Heritage Month for a look back on his life and career. Yes, the city of San Diego wishes you Best of luck. I think it's fantastic. When I first got elected, I basically was it. People always used to ask me to go on TV to speak Spanish because I was the only Spanish speaker. When it was anything related to Latino uh, Heritage Month or anything, it was me because there, there were no other people. Um, that's changed dramatically. Juan Vargas was born in San Diego and grew up in National City. At a time, it had a true small town vibe right down to the National City Fair. His neighborhood was mostly Latino. Well, I grew up speaking Spanish in San Diego. My first language was Spanish. It wasn't even though I was born and raised here. Um, you know, in our little enclave, everybody spoke Spanish. Vargas is one of 10 children. His father came to the U.S. from Mexico as part of the Bracero program, working on a chicken ranch. I think I was probably 13 and I was digging a ditch with my father. We were working in um, planting trees and uh, in landscape and he said, Son, are you enjoying what you're doing? I said, no, Dad, I'm not. And he goes, get an education. I thought, yeah, no, that's what I want to do. Vargas may not have known he'd end up in Congress, but he did have an idea he'd end up wearing a suit and tie to work after a chance meeting. My mom didn't know the law. She thought that they were going to lose their kids because of this accident. And we had a volunteer lawyer, lawyer who was a Latino that came and uh, told us uh, ultimately, uh, lady, you're a bad driver. You're not a bad mother. You're not going to lose your kids. And I looked up to him. I just thought, wow, it's the first Latino I'd ever met in the United States with a suit on. I'd never met one with a suit on. And uh, all of a sudden, he kind of became the image of who I wanted to be. You can be anything you want in this country. In this country, you know, even though you're poor, you can do anything you want. <laughs> He graduated from the University of San Diego in 1983 at this ceremony. He'd add a master's from Fordham and then a law degree from Harvard. Juan Vargas first took office on the San Diego City Council in 1993. He was the only Latino on the council at the time. That was the first time he sat down with CBS 8 for a Hispanic Heritage Month story. There were times certainly when I was growing up that I felt I had to prove myself had to work a little harder, had some questioning about my abilities because I was a, a Latina. Vargas moved to state assembly in 2000, state senate in 2010, against all enemies, for and Congress representing the 51st district since 2013. He is proud of his record and representation. I never did anything that I'm ashamed of, just the opposite. I think I've behaved myself well and uh, comported myself in a way that uh, is appropriate. And so um, I feel good about that. I feel good about where my community is here in San Diego. Hispanic Heritage Month has become a big celebration. And for Vargas, it's a chance to appreciate progress. I think the biggest thing, at least for me, about Hispanic Heritage Month is that you can be proud of who you are as a Latino. Growing up, as I did, you know, people would call you names and lots of other things that were very negative. They don't do that anymore. You know, people are, are respectful. Uh, they're sort of proud of the diversity. And that's what I would tell them. I mean, I think we've come a long way in this community. I think we've come a long way in this country to accept people as they are, their backgrounds. And uh, I think that's a fabulous thing. Do you have any special memories about Hispanic Heritage Month? Now, uh, when you're growing up, it was a week. And then w well into your adulthood, it became Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh, what are your memories about it? You know, it is interesting going to Old Town. <laughs> it was kind of a treat for us. You know, Old Town was kind of expensive for a family like us to go to, but it was always a nice place. So we go to, to Old Town, we go to one of those Mexican restaurants. My mom and dad really enjoyed it. You know, before it was us Latinos celebrating this. Now it's like everyone's celebrating something. It's fun. I think it really has transcended just the Latino community. I think maybe Corona did that because of all the advertising, who knows? But it is funny because I think that now it's, it's something that's pretty universal to everybody. So whether driven by advertising or integration, Hispanic heritage is celebrated by so many in San Diego in so many ways. And Vargas is proud to be a part of that and of a growing melting pot. And that's one of the things I love about San Diego. We do try hard. 
I mean, we do try to integrate everyone in our community. We do try to get along. I think we do. I think we have a very rich culture, not only of Latinos, but Irish, Italians, uh, African Americans, of course, uh, Filipinos. And I think that makes it a wonderful community. Congressman Vargas says his parents were very supportive. He had an uncle who kind of discouraged him for pursuing uh, his career and his education and his dreams. And his parents said, no, it's America. You can be anything you want to be. And he did. He and became that. He is the American dream. You were saying he it during is. the story. I love, you know what I love? All the old footage through the years that CBS 8 has covered everywhere he's been. One of the things we have, we have a long institutional memory. I have to thank uh, Barbara, Barb Nielsen. She's our archives editor. She helped me dig through. We had to go through a lot of stuff to find some of those older images. And I also want to thank Colleen Murphy who edited that. But that's, that's so we have this bank that we like to reach into it and make some withdrawals on once in a while. And it was fun doing it. It was fun to look at it. It's incredible. Wow, the history.